Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to download and create the installation media for Windows 8.1 and uh, how to put it on a bootable USB flash drive. Now you'll be able to use this flash drive to number one, boot your computer, and number two, install Windows 8.1. Please note this video is not a Windows 8.1 installation video. It's, an instru it's for instructional purposes only. Installing Windows incorrectly can lead to data loss and software corruption. I take no responsibility for damage or injury. When you're done with this flash drive, you will be able to use it to install Windows 8.1. And I will show you how to boot your computer with it and uh, what, it, what that looks like. If you're not running Windows 8.1 or Windows 8, you will need to enter a valid Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 product key. Now, what that means is that you'll need to purchase that from Microsoft or get it from wherever you get it but regardless whoever you buy it from you need a valid one to complete this process don't even start this process uh, of installation without having a valid key because you may not be able to go back if you're especially if you're upgrading if you're just uh, installing it on a blank drive no big deal you'll also need a product key if you're running windows 8 or trying to install windows 8.1 pro to learn more about this process or how to uh, buy Windows 8.1 and get a product key, go to the Get Windows page and I'll put the link in the description. You will need a USB flash drive with at least four gigs of space. Uh, I would say that's the bare minimum. I recommend using an eight gig drive just to be sure and not to have any issues with space. I recommend using a flash drive with nothing on it because any content on it will be deleted. So if you're using a flash drive with something on it already, Forget about that data, back it up, and uh, understand that this process will wipe out your drive. And I mean, the first thing I'm going to do with your flash drive is to format it. You will need a PC with a reliable internet connection, at least 4 gigs of free hard drive space. The download is about 4 gigs, and the time it takes to download will vary upon uh, your PC and your connection speed and other factors as well. Not everybody's download will happen in 5 minutes. 4 gigs is a lot of data to download. You'll also need to know if you have a 64-bit or 32-bit pro processor, you'll need one of those in, actual, in, in actuality to install Windows 8.1. You'll need to download either the 64-bit or 32 version of Windows 8.1 that's appropriate for your CPU. So if you have a 64-bit CPU, you want the 64-bit version. And if you don't, you want the 32-bit version. To check this on your current uh, PC, go to the PC info in PC settings or system in control panel and look for the system type. I will show you more on that on uh, Windows 7, how to find out information there. If you're installing your Windows 8 or 8.1 edition of Windows, you should also choose the same edition uh, of Windows. This might be Windows 8.1 or 8.1 Pro. To check what edition you're currently uh, running, go to the PC Info, PC Settings or System Control Panel and look for Windows Edition. So. Uh, basically, you need to install the same version you already have in your machine or the version that you have a valid key for. So if you don't know which version you have, uh, contact whoever so, uh, sold you the, the uh, valid Microsoft uh, key and they'll tell you or look at your current running operating system if you're just uh, resetting or uh, reloading Windows. Let's go check and see what version of uh, there's my SanDisk 8 gig uh, drive that I'm using. I'll put a link to this uh, on the uh, description as well. But uh, first thing you need to know is what version of Windows you're dealing with and if it's 32 bit, so on and so forth. So here I'm running Windows 7. So I'm just going to go to the Windows button, then go to Computer, right click that, and choose Properties. And here you'll see that I'm running Windows 7 Ultimate uh, Service Pack 1. And it also says uh, tells you what your processor is, right? And what's important here, uh, I got four gigs of RAM, and it's a 60-bit, 64-bit operating system. So I know that I have to download the 64-bit version of this uh, installation media. So whatever you have, note that and continue on from there. In my case, I'm going to be upgrading to 8.1. Next step we need to do is go over here I'm just gonna go click on a Google tab here and go to Google search sorry just to go back a little bit if you're using Windows 8 or 8.1 already go to PC info in the 
in PC settings or system in control panel and look for Windows Edition and that'll tell you what you're running as well. Unfortunately, I'm not running it here so I can't show you. I can just tell you how to do it. Next thing you're going to need to do is go to a Google search and then Google Windows 8 Media Reset. So just type in Windows 8 Media Reset and I'll put the link for this also as well in the, in the uh, description just in case you can't find it this way. Then it's uh, the first link you're going to get is create installation media for Windows 8.1. So we're going to go there and you get their rundown on how to do that. Uh, you can follow this if you wish, but uh, I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB key the way I know it works. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, the best process for doing that. Here, if you scroll down to about midway on the page, you'll see a create media uh, link. So we're going to click on that and it's going to allow it's, this is going to give you the media creation tool which we're going to run in a minute uh, to actually download the uh, version that we're going to install. So save the file and you save it wherever you'd like. I'm going to save it in my download directory and as you can see I already have done that. Uh, it's a very small file so I'll just do it again. Hit save and you know it says replace it. So just download it to your download directory or wherever you uh, wish to download it to. Just remember where you downloaded it to because you're going to have to run it next. So click on yes if you're running uh, Windows, sorry, if you're running uh, Firefox, you'll see that it's on, you know, up here, it's already downloaded. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the USB thumb drive is ready to go to go with this uh, program before we start with that. So let's go down to the file browser, browser here and then scroll down to computer and you'll see all the different drives in here and you see there that I have an 8 gig USB. I labeled it that way and what you should do right off the bat with your uh, thumb drive is format it and do a full format. And this is what I mean by that. So right click the 8 gig USB key and go to format. And you'll see you have the option to do a quick format. You should do, you should uncheck that and do a full format. Reason for that being is that it checks the drive for errors. And if there's any problems with your USB thumb drive, you'll find out because the the format will either fail or those it'll tell you that there's something wrong with your drive. Leave all the uh, device defaults here uh, just by checking the restore device defaults and then do a full format. Now I've already done that so just for the sake of brevity on this video I'm just going to assume you're going to do the full format and then continue on from here. We've downloaded the create media uh, file. It's in our download directory. We go to the download directory right here. Double click on the media uh, creation uh, tool. That's what it is, all one word. So just double click on it and then uh, you'll get a security warning. I'm going to hit run on that and I'm getting a user account control. You probably don't see that but if you do get it just click on yes and then you get the fancy Windows logo and then you get the option to choose what you want. Now of course, I'm using English, so I'm just going to choose English. You choose your your language, whatever it is. Uh, you choose the version you want. And again, if you don't know what version you want or what version you have a valid key for, uh, go look at, uh, you know, email whoever sent you the valid key or wherever you got the valid key, the box, the retail box, if you got it that way. Um, and if you got it online, just check your email to see what they sent you. I'm going to choose 8.1 Pro. And then you get into Architecture. And that is where you find that where you choose 32 or 64 bit. And that's according to what you found in control panel by, uh, you know, either process that I mentioned earlier. I'm going to go with 64 bit and I'm going to click next. Now it says USB flash drive or ISO file. Well, I want the ISO file, not the USB flash drive. Okay. You can go that route if you wish, but I'm going to show you how to do this using another program. I think it works better um, and I like the option to add more tools to my USB flash drive afterwards. But regardless, I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, so next, you click on ISO file and click next. And then it's going to download Windows ISO. Of course, that's going to take a while because it's 4 gigs. I already have it downloaded. Actually, it's 3.27 gigs according to my computer. I already have it downloaded in my download directory. I'm going to assume that you will do that and then follow along with me. So I'm going to hit cancel here and then cancel here. Basically what it's going to do is download the file. When it's done, it'll say, okay, you're ready to go. Now, are you sure you want to quit? Yes, I do. Uh, 
next thing we're going to do is download the tool that I like to uh, use for uh, creating this uh, bootable USB flash drive. Now, uh, one thing I want to point out here is uh, a few things from Microsoft. I'll put this link here. Uh, I'm going to put the link to compare Windows 8.1 editions so that you can decide which version you want to buy uh, just by you know looking through the options here and choosing what you'd like. So that'll be in the, in the uh, video description as well. Uh, I'll also put the link to get Windows um, 8 or you know the uh, link that they give you to go purchase this and you know it's up to you whether you purchase it or not but this is where you would get your valid key from so next thing we're going to do is do a google search for a program called yummy so that's y u m i and then you'll get a yummy multi boot usb creator that's what we want to download to create the bootable thumb drive my favorite tool for doing this so click on that uh, you'll get to this page scroll down about three quarters of the way and you'll see download yummy so I'm going to click on that and then uh, choose save file and I already have it uh, downloaded here I actually have the older version and the newest version so just click save here and save your uh, version to your downloads directory or wherever you uh, like to put it just remember where you saved it I'm going to hit cancel here again because it's quicker and I can continue on from here on the video so I'm going to hit cancel and uh, let's minimize this and then let's go to my file browser and in here we're going to go to yummy my yummy folder and then the yummy file now the nice thing about this program is that it creates bootable USB drives that you can add uh, you know if it's big enough you can add several different uh, versions of Windows to it or uh, other tools uh, you know as you like so I'm going to double click this file. It doesn't install. It actually just runs. So I'm going to double click it. I'm getting my user account control here. You probably can't see that, but if you get it, click yes. Then you have to agree to the license agreement. I'm going to say agree. And then you get this page. So first thing you need to do is select your drive uh, that you're going to put this on. So automatically it sees that it's a USB drive and that it's the letter is F. And, you know you should verify that by in your in your file browser by going to your computer and then looking at your where you format the drive make sure you choose the correct one because this will wipe out your drive or can wipe out your drive and if you do this on the wrong drive uh, you know it's gonna be a world of hurt for you so next choice the next choices you have is to format it or view or remove installed installations well we don't want to do either one of those we formatted it already you could do it from here if you wish to but if, I'm sure that'll be a quick format so just do the uh, regular format uh, if you don't find your drive in this list just click on show all all drives and then it'll show you all the drives available but I'm just going to uncheck that because as I'm going to F yours may be a different letter next you're going to choose so, uh, select the distribution to put on F and you get a huge list of uh, available distrib distributions scroll down to the bottom and you'll see very, almost near the very bottom under uh, o other OS tools Windows Vista 7 and 8 installer so that's what we want I'm going to click on that then it says browse to select your ISO as you can see here there is no ISO there so I'm going to choose browse and I'm already in the downloads directory if you're not there point this to the download directory or wherever you downloaded your ISO file and here's the Windows ISO file click open and now you can see that I got a green light because all the text is green here and I get the option to create now uh, I'm gonna hit create here and it's gonna give you a rundown what it's gonna do it's gonna create a system uh, you know create a sys Linux MBR on F you know so on and so forth read that over make sure that you're it's going to the right drive and uh, if you're sure of that then click yes I'll do that and it begins the process now this process takes a little while so I'm going to let it uh, go through here I'll, I'll fast forward this on the video and uh, continue on from there Okay, we finished the uh, full process. It says all finished, process is complete. Click on next. And 
it asks you if you'd want to make another or add to this uh, drive with F and we're going to say no because we are finished we only want to install uh, the Windows uh, media so just hit no here if you want to create uh, other distros on it you can that's kind of the beauty of yummy and why it's my favorite USB uh, bootable USB drive creator I'm gonna hit no here then I'm gonna hit finish and at this point the computer is now ready to be rebooted with the uh, drive in one of the USB ports I will show you next on this video all the different options that you can use to get into your boot menu. I'm going to use uh, F9 on this. This is an HP laptop. Escape or F9 on this uh, laptop will give you those options, but different computers have different options like Delete or Escape or F10 or F2. Uh, I'll put a, a, a list of common ones here on the video and then show you the boot process next. Here we are at my HP boot screen and as you can see on the bottom left it says press escape key to for startup menu. Well I'm going to do that here. Yours may be different. It might be delete, F2, F5, escape, uh, you name it. There's a whole bunch of different options uh, as you saw earlier on in the in, well, previous to this uh, frame that uh, I showed you other options for other manufacturers. Uh, and usually the computer will tell you here at the bottom uh, somewhere or somewhere on the start screen. So here we're going to hit uh, escape and then you get all these startup menu and all the system options. I'm going to choose F9 here and that gives me the boot device options. Your menu of course may be different. And I get to choose which drive I want to boot from. And of course I want to boot from the USB drive that I've just created. So I hit SanDisk Cruiser Glide. So enter. And then you get the yummy multi-boot USB screen with a countdown timer here but you just hit the up or down arrow and that goes away now we want to continue to, oh sorry now we want to go to a the bootable grub you grub bootable isos and windows xp 7 8 you know so on so hit enter on that and you get this menu which is you know one that gives you the option to go back or install windows well i'm going to choose install windows here and show you what that looks like so enter again and then you get the Windows uh, logo on the screen and we'll wait for the process to go through here. Okay, and then we have, we have the Windows setup uh, window and it gives you the options or asks you for the options of what you want to choose. Uh, it's up to you what you choose. You can choose English United States, uh, you know, time is, you know, time and currency format, so on and so forth. Uh, you get your choices here. Uh, you can continue uh, here I'm going to, you can say next to continue the installation but again this video is not about installing windows it's about creating this drive so we've successfully created the um, USB boot media uh, was, uh, drive or flash drive for Windows 8.1 at this point and at this point you're ready to go and install from here on now if you don't want to install at this point just uh, go up here to your X and then it says to install Windows you must run Windows installation. If you cancel installation your computer might restart. Are you sure you want to cancel Windows installation? Well if I hit yes here it will actually exit out and probably reboot. So let's see that and, and that's exactly what happens. The uh, computer is now rebooting. I'm just going to hit escape here to stop this and that's how you download and create the installation media for Windows 8.1 on a bootable USB flash drive. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor, click on the like button right down here. And uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here. And that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay, again, Thank you very much for your time and watching.